Occasionally, we may want to evaluate two Boolean expressions together. And the way we do that is with logical operators. We're going to look at three logical operators, the AND, the OR, and the NOT. So the first one here is the AND. And my, my initial expression is if x is greater than 5 and y is less than 10, then I'm going to do something. That whole expression, x greater than 5 and y less than 10, will be evaluated together and evaluate either true or false. And the way it does that is using, if we look at this truth table here in this yellow box, if each expression on both sides of the AND operator are true, that whole expression will be true. But if one of the sides is false, whether it be the second side or the first side, if either of those are false, then that expression is false. If they're both false, the expression is false. So here's some more examples. If 1 plus 1 equals 2, that's true. And 10 divided by 5 is equals 2, that's true. So that whole expression is true. If 7 mod 3 equals 1, that's a true statement. And 17 integer division 3 equals 5. And that's a true statement. That whole expression is true. For these last two, 2 plus 3 equals 5, that's true. And 4 divided by 2 is 3. Well, that's a false condition on the, the right-hand side. And so that whole expression evaluates to false. If 7 minus 3 equals 5, well, that's false. Even though the other side is true, that whole expression is going to be false. It's the same thing in C sharp. The difference is, rather than the word and, we use two ampersands. Otherwise, everything else is exactly the same. And of course, for, for our Boolean expressions, if we're seeing if things are equal, we use the double equals uh, operator. We have another logical operator called an OR. And here, if one side or the other is true, the whole expression is true. If both sides are true, the whole expression is true. And it's only false if both sides are false. So looking at the examples down here below the truth table, 1 plus 1 equals 2 is true, or 10 divided by 2 equals 5 is true, even though they're both true, that evaluates to true. Same way with the next statement. If 7 mod 3 equals 1, that's true. 17 integer division 3 equals 5, that's true. Both true. The whole thing is true. But in the next statement, 2 plus 3 equals 5, that's true. And even though the right-hand side, 4 divided by 2 equals 3, is false, it evaluates to a true statement. 7 minus 3 equals 5 is false, but the right side, 6 plus 2 equals 8, is true. So that, again, evaluates to true. C-sharp, same thing, except rather than the word or, we have double pipes. The pipe character would be a shift backslash. Some people refer to it as the vertical bar. Um, so there's two of them, two pipes or two vertical bars. The expressions and the truth uh, tables are exactly the same. And if either side is true, they both evaluate the true. We have another logical operator called a not. Not simply reverses the trueness of an expression. So if something is not false, it's going to be true. And if something is not true, it's going to evaluate to false. So for example, we have here if not 10 divided by 5 equals 2. Well, 10 divided by 5 is 2. That's a true statement. But the not in front of it makes that expression false. If not, 17 integer division 3 equals 5. Again, that is a true mathematical expression. But the Boolean expression here is false because not true is false. We see the opposite in the next two expressions here, where 4 divided by 2 equals 3 is a false statement. But if it's not false, then it's true. So that's a true evaluation. 6 times 2 equals 10. Well, we know that to be false. But not false is true. Same thing over here on the C-sharp side, except rather than the word not, we use an exclamation mark. Remember we saw not equals was an exclamation mark equals Boolean operator. So the exclamation mark is the not character. 
So again, if it's not false, it's true. If it's not true, it's false. And then the exclamation mark in front of some expression is going to reverse it from either being true, or if it is true, it becomes false. And if it is false, it becomes true. One of the primary ways that we see logical operators used is in evaluating a range of values. So here I have a VB application where I'm asking the user to enter a number between 15 and 30 inclusively. And uh, they enter it in this text box and press the, the enter button. So my text box is named txt input. My button is named btn enter. Let's take a look at the code. So for that button, I have a variable called xyz, which is set to an integer value. I'm going to take the value that's in the text box and convert it to an integer using cint and assign that to xyz. And I do that in a try-catch expression such that if they don't put anything in the text box or they put letters, uh, which is going to generate an error converting it to an integer, I'm going to simply set xyz to zero if they don't provide a valid numeric uh, response in that text box. And then I have an if structure, an if else structure. And here is our Boolean expression that uses a logical operator. So if xyz is greater than or equal to 15 and xyz is less than or equal to 30, then I'm going to show a message box that simply says thank you and the title's valid number. But if, if it, this is a false expression, then that means they've entered a value that was either less than 15 or greater than 30. And my message box in the else fork is going to be message box show outside the range of 15 to 30 invalid number is the title. Let's just test this. So if I enter a number such as 5, press enter, I'm told that's outside the range. If I enter a number such as 35, that's outside the range. But if I enter a number like 21, I'm told thank you, because that is within the range of 15 to 30. Same way if I simply enter 15, that's a valid number, as is 30, but not 31. Here's that same application done in C Sharp. My interface is exactly the same, same buttons. Let's just take a look at the code for the enter button. I have a variable, xyz again, which is an integer value. I'm using a try-catch structure to convert the, the text that's in the text box to an integer using int.parse and assigning to xyz. If that is not a numeric value that they've entered, I'm going to set xyz equal to 0 via the catch clause. And then here's our if-else structure. Same condition that we saw on the VB side, except rather than the word and, I've used double ampersands. So if xyz is greater than or equal to 15, and xyz is less than or equal to 30, we're going to show a message box that simply says thank you. If, however, it's less than 15 or it's greater than 30, it's going to be outside the range, we'll show a message box that declares that. Let me test it. So if I put in 15, that's a valid number as is 28. But if I make it 128, that's outside the range. If I make it 10, that's outside the range. So that's a very common way that we would use uh, the AND operator in checking for a range of values.